I'm Ian Hazelden and uh, I live at Lidster. We moved here about eight years ago as a retirement. It's only a small holding, but we love the lifestyle here. The Australian Government has given us uh, funding to work within this really important landscape, the box gum woodland, and so what we've done with that is then give money to landholders to work within those landscapes uh, to enhance uh, box gum woodland and also to improve the connectivity of those sites as well. Well, when we bought the place, it was very run down, so we put a lot of effort into pushing back on weeds and having to straighten up a lot of fences. And the only fence remaining was the 600 metres along Car Cargo Road. And I was holding off on that because there were trees and different things down there when suddenly I got a letter from LLS and Bruce turned up and said, would you like to help us plant our tree corridor? We're trying to improve the amenity of the area. And what's more, we'll give you some money to put the fences up and plant the trees. And I thought, terrific. Ian's property was identified through a process of prioritising roadsides. Early on in the project we looked at some key roadsides and this area links really well with a lot of other grassy box woodlands in the area. There's a Boronor cave site over there which is a key key area. It links up with uh, Bory Lane so we've got quite a few projects now that have popped up in the area so it's actually creating really good connectivity uh, throughout this area. By connecting them, it's increasing the, the gene pool, the diversity of the area. Uh, it's allowing for transport of seeds and birds and genetics. And so it's actually really good at uh, helping, helping these areas protect themselves through adaptation to change, changing climate. I've loved trees. I've always been a bit of a tree hugger. When, and I've loved bushwalking, so I suppose it's just a natural extension of that. It's nice to see some growing where there weren't trees previously. It's something that I've never done before. And at about the time this was happening, I heard an old Chinese proverb that the world is a better place than old mean men plant trees in whose shade they know they will never sift. And I thought, okay, well, I'm getting on in a few years, so why don't I give, give it a go? All sorts of reasons like that. But the more I've got into it, the more I've really enjoyed it. Through LLS, we came up with a plan as to where we would put them and the fencing required. And then we had a big family day. We have uh, two of our three children and their kids living close by, so they all came over and we had a great day just putting the trees in and watering them. We got, got all that done in one day, about 250 trees, so that was a fun day. Uh, in the second and third years, much smaller, I've just carried on and done it myself on a smaller scale. I mean, Ian's done a you know, fantastic job here with a, a windbreak, a biodiversity corridor. We're also working with Ian to do uh, paddock trees. So we're, we're looking at, uh, well, we have put in um, paddock trees um, out in the paddock using tree guards. And so that's not only a environmental gain, looking at the connectivity across the landscape, it's also a production gain. Ultimately, those trees will become shade trees, uh, there's shelter trees, uh, and they'll increase the diversity and biodiversity of these sites. I've uh, continued with a bit of watering when I thought it got dry and of course grass control around the trees, just a simple roundup job. And uh, occasionally, two or three times, I've flashed the grass between the trees. And that's about the extent of it. Then of course now they come back and they can say, wow, Pop, look, look how much those trees are growing, it's great. And as I said to them, well, you'll be looking at them and hopefully enjoying them long since after I've gone. So um, yeah, it'll be something to remember me by, I suppose, that I've got the memories of them having shared the time putting them in. It's been great.